we mentioned the Associated Press is calling that Senate race for Mark Kelly, but Republican incumbent Martha McSally is not ready to concede. News 4 Tucson's Danielle Confair has more on that side of the story. In this special election, the winning candidate will serve two years to complete what would have been the late Senator John McCain's term. Shortly after John McCain died in August of 2018, Governor Doug Ducey appointed John Kyle, who only served in the seat for four months. Ducey then appointing outgoing U.S. Representative Martha McSally, who was sworn in on January of 2019. That was just two months after she lost her bid for Senate to now Senator Kirsten Sinema. In this special election, the Associated Press is calling Mark Kelly the winner, but McSally still hasn't conceded. In a statement from McSally's campaign, they say hundreds of thousands of votes have still not been counted. Every Arizonan deserves to have their voice heard and vote counted. We continue to monitor returns. The voters of Arizona decide this election, not media outlets. On Tuesday, Mark Kelly took the stage at his campaign party in downtown Tucson, thanking voters and saying he's optimistic, but will wait till all the votes are in. Now, when we launched this campaign from this very spot right here, 619 days ago, I could have never anticipated just how many Arizonans would be part of this mission. If Kelly is declared the official winner, he's expected to be sworn into the Senate on November 30th. We've got you covered, Danelle Confair, News 4 Tucson.